Chris from 40 Thrive. I'm taking a day off today. Well, not really. I'm going to spend the entire day working out. That sounds like a bit much. What I mean is I'm, I'm going to dedicate as much time as possible towards working out today. It's, it's, it's actually very challenging to take a day off. It's, it's challenging for me to do nothing. As you can see, there's a, a huge mess on my kitchen countertop. Um, there's a lot to do, but it takes a lot of, uh, um, oh my God, this, ow, you fucker. It takes a lot of discipline to not want to do some form of work today so the only thing I'm gonna do I may even do like a Facebook uh, uh, YouTube live later um, I was just watching a video of a guy just going through his workout routine nothing spectacular and you know uh, quite honestly uh, I think sometimes I'm a little hard on myself on my uh, you're hungry aren't you yeah. I think I'm a little hard on myself when it comes to uh, production quality, editing, all that stuff. There's a lot of stuff that I don't put out because I'm like, well, I didn't edit that and uh, I don't have the patience to do it. I try to do things in single shots. That way I don't have to edit. Um, but anyway, uh, I got a little lax in my workout routine. I've always been cutting my workout time short because of work. I got to leave. I got deadlines. I got things to do. It's Labor Day. Um, and while I am fighting off the guilt for not going to do some other things, I haven't really taken a day for me in a very long time. It's always filled with running around, doing things for other people. Um, not to sound like a martyr, but I'm just, I'm, you know, uh, I got boogers. I have boogers. So today I want to I want to work out. I just want to be the quote unquote lazy bear in the gym. I'm just going to work out and do other fun shit. I want to use my body today. I'm probably going to try rucking today. I may take my camera and a selfie stick out to the park. I want to try to film out there and work out. Like I said, I I just want to I just want to pay attention to my body today and. Um, and do the things that are going to make me happy, which, you know, I'm, I'm going to do chores. I'm going to clean because it makes me feel good to be in a clean environment. Um, so, yeah, I'll get that done. But I'm not going to stress about getting it done in a certain amount of time. Or maybe I should do that. Maybe, maybe I should say, okay, between these two hours, do, do this workout. That's plenty of time. If you, It, it seems like... When you set time constraints, it it really does seem like you're you're um, uh, putting constraints on yourself. But in actuality, if you just block that time out and you say, "Okay, between this time and this time, this entire hour, there's a lot of time. There's a lot you can get done in that time." So maybe. I guess I'm saying it's like a perception thing. I'm sorry, I'm only on like sip two of my first cup of coffee, and we all know we're going to have like two more cups before the day's done. I had a great night last night. Uh, first of all, work was very productive. Uh, I had a really nice, solid, busy Sunday. And then... A friend of mine, normally I would just get off work and go home and just putz around, maybe, you know, my other favorite pastime is just grocery shopping, um, that's probably what I would have, what I would have done, I'm hoping there's grocery stores open today, I didn't think about that, oh no, what if they're not, so, uh, I ended up going to a friend's house who lives on the lake, and, his backyard goes down into a beautiful private beach uh, on the lake, and we had a wonderful fire uh, by the water. 
you know, tons of driftwood around. We barely had to move. It was it was uh, laziness at its best. It was great. We sat and we had. I had a beer, and then he he fixed me a couple of uh, uh, gin and sodas, which I am becoming a fan of. But um, but again, I'm not a fan of the effects of of, of drinking, and um, I'm still planning on cutting that back dramatically. Like if I have a glass of wine today. That might be it. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing I'm doing kind of like a whatever I want day, and that's gonna be a lot of working out. Feeling a, a feeling weak. Um, but that's it. Happy Labor Day. I'll follow up with you. Hope you're enjoying your Labor Day. I hope you're enjoying some of the content. I'm now at 192 subscribers. I am just 8 subscribers away from reaching 200 subscribers. And that may not sound like much, but that is you know, a lot for someone who just decided to one day fire up a YouTube channel and has asked people to join him on his weird, weird shirtless journey. But, uh, but thank you for being a part of it. And if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe and please like this video and all my videos. What's not to like? Cheers.